Fukusa. <laughs> this is the home for Fukusa View to a billionaire maturely in his meme vault. Good. Alright, you ready? Who's kicking it? I can kick it. Understand, it was supposed to be here. Good evening, everyone. I'm Son of a Mitch, and today, uh, and today, we're going to be learning how to grow our YouTube audience because I thought all I needed to do was upload once every two years in order to get it done. So, we're going to be watching a video called the five guiding principles to build your YouTube community up. To build your community on YouTube. I got it here. Follow along. Let's go. Let's talk about community. You know, the people behind those oh so important view and subscriber numbers. Thinking about your subscribers as the human beings they are is incredibly important on YouTube. I like how we're not even 20 seconds in and she's t reminded me to remember that my subscribers are human beings because most YouTubers probably need that reminder, actually. Why? Well, first of all, YouTube as a platform is designed for social interaction. Liking, commenting, sharing, these are all super social activities, right? No, actually, those are anti-social activities because they involve a computer. A social activity is going outside, meeting with friends, Anything else besides sitting in front of your computer all day, stuff like that. Another reason that thinking about your community is so important is that you can turn your community into a social army of promoters for you. No, definitely. And it's, that's the most humanizing position is treating subscribers like an army. If your community likes you, or better yet, loves you, they're going to give you incredibly valuable feedback about what you're doing and what they like. No YouTube comment in the history of time has been helpful. And maybe what they don't. Community is going to happen with you or without you. And you really want to make sure that you're involved in shaping that discussion. With or without me sounds like, like, a, like a threat. So I mentioned that communities will happen regardless, and that's partly because of human nature. And big marketers have capitalized on this innate human need to belong for years, and they've learned how to use a few simple truths to create brand zealots. Brand zealots. That's all you are to me. You're my brand zealot. What's great is that we see these principles in all of today's top YouTube channels. Is that great? Is that great? Your creation story is powerful. It's the story about you, what life experience contributed to who you are and how you actually got started on YouTube. I had nothing better to do. Do you know who these guys are and maybe part of their creation story? Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, arguably one of the most caustic creation stories in existence besides like Cain and Abel. We know today that these two guys built one of the most zealous fan bases in all the world. Yeah, no, they definitely didn't revolutionize the tech industry. They built a really zealous fan base. That's what they're known for. I guess it, I guess it is what they're known for, but that's not a good thing. You, the Apple slaves that line up in front of the computer? In front of the computer. I don't think that's such a good thing. I don't think it's a great thing for people to be lining up for days on end to receive a new iPhone. I don't think having brand zealots is really uh, an admirable trait. It's almost like people are really stupid or being taken advantage of, and you're telling me to do that. And I mean, I guess I will. Today, across these many channels, he has the most loyal and sustained audience on YouTube. Can you measure that? What metric are you using? What were your humble beginnings? You know, your creation story. Give it some thought and tell me in a comment below. Uh, one day, I got a wild hair up my ass and I decided to make a really bad YouTube video. And now I do that for a living. 
Give your fans a higher meaning when they come to YouTube. You know, something more than just checking out a video that their friend sent them. Should you decide to visit my channel, you will not just be subscribing to see shitty YouTube videos. Nay, you fulfill the higher calling. You know, the higher power that is YouTube. Is this the community for bringing together like-minded burrito fans? Or do you believe that dance is life? Let's watch a clip from the very first video D Studio uploaded onto their YouTube channel. <laughs> Just a still image. First, they told us that it didn't matter where we lived, what kind of dance we did, that this was our home. This is our home. This particular set of videos is our dancing home. These particular bits compressed down into information, beamed through my computer and transported into light to be beamed through my monitor is my home. I have no home. I live outside. I know I was inspired and I'm not even a dancer. So consider finding a way to showcase authority or leadership on your channel. Bow before me, subscribers! I am your leader! <coughs> Is there some repeated element that you can do in every one of your videos? Something that your fans can come to expect and look forward to over time? Do it! 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 Oh, do right now! Do it! 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 What do your fans believe in? What brings them together because of your channel? Burritos, of course. What did we learn, class? You are my subscriber and I command it!